two, three. We're out on the Atlantic and the water is hot. It's a similar story for the Gulf of Mexico, also experiencing its hottest year on record in 2023. It serves as a reminder of what the people of Fort Myers know all too well. People along Fort Myers Beach enjoying the sand, waves, and restaurants, but still fresh in their minds. The storm that left more than a dozen people dead when it struck in September 2022, leaving Fort Myers Beach unrecognizable. 10 to 15 foot storm surge wiping everything away. I'm in the heart of Fort Myers Beach where the pier still needs a lot of work, but some businesses have recovered. The ice cream shop is now open. We have the pizza and grill, but take a look across the street. You can see this building still has a long way to go, and that's what we saw across most of the area. Miles of businesses and homes wiped away disaster recovery signs now posted outside people living in trailers where their homes once were and the buildings that are still standing are dealing with this this was once a restaurant now an empty shell filled with dust and debris with a for sale by owner sign out front other restaurants able to keep businesses alive in a new way. When we lost the restaurant, we had to find a trailer. Doug Colby is the manager at Yo Taco. He says the people of Fort Myers Beach are not taking any chances this hurricane season. I think they've seen the worst, so, I mean, more people know what to do now. I mean, hurricane season comes, yeah, nobody's gonna, we're not gonna play around with it. He, along with many others, are happy to see progress being made, but no, there's a long way to go. We've seen uh, j just the slow rebuild and all that, uh, like the, the, the clock over there and the tower getting painted and things like that, but it's still in progress, but you know, th there is progress though. And next door at Buffalo Grill. This is the Charbroil Grill, where everything is done with, um, lump charcoal the owners may be from new york these are all sayings from buffalo bill's mafia obviously but they know there is a threat that comes every year in florida so in the event that there is a major hurricane threat this trailer can be moved out of here fred malone and bill wagner say they know people are ready to get back to their normal lives and they hope to help the people down here have been fantastic uh, they're very encouraged by the fact that there's things opening up there's more things to do and we're doing whatever we can to help and we figured uh, this is a good area for our charbroil deliciousness. Residents like Christine Brickman also doing their part to help the recovery by eating local and supporting their neighbors. We've been to Yotaco, we've been to La Ola, we've been to Margaritaville many, many times. And so we've been bringing in our money and bringing in our how delighted we are at the progress that they're making. It's not only the businesses and the homes like this one recovering, the people are too. It's the first several, several months in all of last year was very difficult, but I think once we got through the one year anniversary, that helped a lot of people with their kind of closure. And of course we have moments where you still can't believe it, like you stand here in Times Square and you look around and you see the, still the devastation. But then you turn and you see, okay, there's happy people, there's families that are coming, the beach is full. Residents have not forgotten, but say they are finally ready to move forward. The sunset's still here, the beach is still here. You can feel how proud everybody is to be on Fort Myers Beach. A difficult couple of years, but the town making progress as each minute passes, bringing life back to a sense of normalcy.